Pinagpapalagpalag sa inyong tanan. Um, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank uh, FCSI, my good friend uh, Jay Laksamana uh, for inviting me here. Betty was always uh, at my back telling me, uh, please do this, do that. He said, yes sir, yes sir. Uh, I'm quite happy to do this. And then Mayam also and uh, Heidi, they were very, very helpful in uh, uh, giving me instructions what to share to you this morning. But before that, I'd like to tell you that I am a Bisdak, Bisayang Dako. Because my forefathers come from Badyan. Uh, and we have a Kenyones clan reunion every two years. The next reunion will be in Cebu. We just had a reunion last May in Bohol. The next reunion will be 2015, uh, dito sa Cebu City. You know? uh, so, uh, our plan has a very uh, historic you know, ito past. You know? Because uh, in our history, we were told that two missionaries, American missionaries, were on their way to Sibiman, you know, to, to Magete. And they passed by Badian. And they shared the Bible with our forefather, Mr. Juan Quinones. And you know, at that time, all of us were Catholics. When the two missionaries shared the Bible to my forefather, my forefather said, this is the truth. We will now become Christians, you know. We will be a Bible-believing Christian. That's why I was wondering, before I was attending ito mga reunion namin, bakit pag nakamit ako ng Quinones, ay uh, magaling komanta ng mga hymns, no? mga ano itong praise songs ano? at uh, they are ano itong Christians ano? dahil lang pala yung forefather na may declared ano? uh, that uh, from then on our clan will be uh, for the Lord ano? serving the Lord so me and my family were Christians and uh, uh, at one point in time I was also going to the church that uh, Jay also attending now but today uh, I'd like to share with you uh, what I have learned, you know, uh, in my uh, learning journey uh, on social solidarity economy. Since, since uh, it really bothered me why uh, all the things that I have done about 20 years in the UN and after that, you know, as consultant, bakit yung mga instruments natin of poverty alleviation does not alleviate poverty in general. You know? So, when I realized that kulang uh, pala tayo ng framework, we're working within a framework of an economy that systematically creates poverty. So kailangan you have to get out of that framework ano, and create an alternative. That is the context of my presentation today. And um, uh, maganda itong, ano, itong ginawa ni Lapedi and the FSSI team because when I look at the way they organize this workshop, sabi ko, magandang framework ito. Kaya, Jay, pardon me for uh, bringing up this issue. I thought that maybe next Asian forum natin, if is is ay na mag-organize, you know? <laughs> Ang galing ng framework, eh. You know? Yes. Uh, you see, uh, next slide, please. No? You see what they have done, no? Uh, Yung formation of social solidarity economy, it happens at three levels. The first level is the synergy of individuals at the enterprise level. Ano? You will note na itong ano natin, sa case natin dito, uh, we have this um, case studies no? at the enterprise level. Kikita sa mga case studies dyan, yung uh, synergy cooperatives, no? is is at the cooperative level, Yun ang formation ng social enterprise. Solidarity at the enterprise level is the synergy among the individual members of the cooperative. They create an enterprise. Okay? Now, that is not the economy. That is the organization. What the organization creates is the economy. All the while, we are focusing the organization. Ngayon, ang focus natin is the economy. No? The second level is synergy of enterprises at the supply, le uh, supply chain level. So we have um, cases, you know, yung FIDAP sa Iloilo, uh, TSKI will report on that, at saka yung Alter Trade, you know, yung uh, sa Bacolod. 
And uh, uh, these are the uh, cases na pag-aralan pag, uh, natin. And then the third level is the synergy of supply chains. Mga supply chain na at the ecosystem level or territorial level. Ano? Uh, sa Pilipinas, we have brought up the consciousness from the enterprise level to the supply chain level. But I'm happy because dito sa ITSI workshop natin, nag-ano na kayo? So you have gone beyond the supply chain level. You have gone to the territorial ecosystem level. And this is one of the topics that will be discussed at the global forum, you know. This is E at the territories, no? This will be led by uh, Pakteloko. Uh, yun ang pronunciation na, pero pagka pronounce natin, Pactes Lokax. Uh, yun ang ano. Kasi French yan, eh. They will lead the discussion of the SSE at the territorial level. Now, in all these levels, ang kailangan natin, ano dyan, ito maintindihan, ano? Ano yung core values ng economy na yan? So, this, the first thing that we need to clarify among ourselves, ano ba ang core values ng economy na yan? No? Hindi yung vision na uuna. Because your vision is just at ano itong uh, statement of the principles or values that you adopt. Ginawa natin yon sa Angeles City during the ASEP Forum. Uh, in out natin yung mga values, principles, ano? and then we group the participants into, uh, divided into groups. Tapos binigyan namin sila ng cut out ano, principles. Tapos pinagtakpitapin nila and they created a vision, no? their own vision. You've got to do that. You cannot depend on other people to define is is it for you it has to be embedded in your experience you know? otherwise you will not own the process sabihin nyo ah ito definition ni Mr. Ben ito definition ni Ripes e anong definition mo that is the bottom line you know? so you start with the core values and then you go into forming your vision mission and strategy kasi kung uunahin mong vision you will look for core values that will uh relate to your vision at to your ano ay yeah, to, to your vision baliktad ano yan ang nangyayari ngayon may vision ka uh, for example yung mga professional ano ngayon gusto kong mag uh, workshops gusto kong maging mayaman ano like to be rich then they look for the core values baliktad no and then you need to build up the process core competence and technology in order to achieve your core values ano and the vision and then set up the performance management system now, we're, we're going to go back to this because um, I have a, a proposal at the end of my presentation, but this is how we are going to uh, understand ECC and put it to action. Next slide. Okay, ano ba ang core values ng ECC? The first is compassion. Why? Because we put people first over and above profits. The new liberal market economy puts profits first. Kaya ini-instrumentalize niya ang tao at saka environment to maximize profits. No? Sa atin, profit just serves the needs ng tao. Dapat tao o nauuna at saka environment. No? Yung profit is just an instrument to maximize yung impact sa human, no? sa environment natin. That's the first core value ng ECC. Second, of course, mutualism you do not focus so much on yourself, you know, but what can you do to help others, cooperate with others, reciprocal relations. Ito yung bayanihan. That's why in the Philippines, we call ECC Bayanihan Compassionate Economy. You know? Kasi ito ang core values ng ano, ECC. You know? And then you have social, political, economic democracy. Ito ang pagkakaiba ng ECC sa capitalist uh, globalization and state uh, Socialism. No? Yung capitalism, alam na niya yun. Pero state socialism, basically, sa state socialism, lahat tayo workers lang. Walang entrepreneurs. Ano? Uh, so yun ang ano doon, itong pagkakaiba. That's why it's called also the proletariat ano, itong, uh, state, ano? the uh, socialist state. So is is a, we believe that people can be entrepreneurs. Ang people ang nagdadala ng economy. So, we democratize the economy in the hands of the people. Ito ang pagkakaiba ng SSE. And then we have equity and justice for all. It includes dimensions of gender, race, ethnicity, class, and age. Empowerment of women, marginalized, anti-poverty din siya. 
So lahat ng pinagagawa natin, pasok doon. Kaya lang, ibang framework niya. You create another space. You get out of the neoliberal economy and create your own space. So it's not in the context of the neoliberal market economy. Sustainable development, yung three bottom line natin, people, planet, and profit. Pluralism, social inclusion, diversity, creativity. Resilience is built into the social solidarity economy. And then yung principle of territoriality, subsidiarity, that was local decision making and management, self-management, collective ownership in the workplace and the community. These are the core values. Of course, you can add more core values that you think are uh, essential for SEC. That's why it's very important for you not to depend on somebody else's definition. Of course, you can use that, you know, but make your own identification and core values nakikita nyo relevant to the Philippine context. You know? Next slide. Now, what are the expressions of self-management and collective ownership? Cooperative is number one because this is the uh, old is is it, no? Old form ng self-management and collective ownership dates back to the 1800s. But uh, because of capitalist globalization, marami rin na rin mga non-cooperative associations, ano? Uh, Dati-dati, ang cooperative was mainly addressed among our workers. It started with the labor union, yung cooperatives. Yeah. At saka yung mga exploited classes. You know. But with the capitalist globalization, hindi lang workers ang affected, pati professionals. You know. Sabi ng kaibigan ko sa advertisement, pati kami, sabi niya, affected kami you know, ng globalization. There are only five global advertising companies that control 80% of the advertising business all over the world. You know. Lahat apektado pati professionals, all types of classes. Uh, Community-owned enterprises are included. The commons, you know, uh, when you say commons, tulad halimbawa ng beach or uh, coastal areas, no? uh, lake, uh, forest, these are commons. You know? Neighborhood community associations, yung ROSCA, Rotating Savings and Credit Associations, are informal organizations, collective kitchens, unemployed or landless worker mutual aid organizations, Joint Purchase Association, so Social Purchasing Clubs, Self-Managed Enterprises. SSE is not a market economy, but it is an economy with a self-organized market. Ano yung self-organized market? Yung mga consumers niya nag-o-organize and they determine for themselves, bibili tayo ng freight trade product, bibili tayo ng organic product, bibili na tayo ng SSE product. They have a conviction that they will buy because this is good for them and for the country. Yun ang self-organized market. Yung market economy, pupunta ka sa mall, bibili ka doon kasi mababa ang presyo. Wala kang ibang value kundi yung economy. Okay. Next slide. Now, what I'd like to share with you in order that you can understand the concept of economy, which is different from the organization, is the gestalt principle. Ano? I think those of you who studied mathematics will know this you know the whole is greater than the sum of its parts ang pinupunto nito yung synergy you know? uh, so yung individual output natin dito individually you know, is already great pero pag samasamahin mo yan ang value added that we will create as a group will be greater than our individual inputs or outputs combined together why because of synergy this is the concept of economy. Applied to econ uh, the field of economy, we can restate this principle by saying the economy is greater than the sum of all enterprises that comprise it. Kaya, yun ang ano, itong kailangan ting maano na kapag nag-focus lang tayo sa enterprise, we cannot understand economy. We don't go to the economy at the level of economy. You know? So, yun ang isang principle that I'd like to uh, share with you. So that maintindihan natin ano ba yung is is economy, no? social solidarity economy. We are talking here of economy, not only of organizations or enterprises. Next slide. Now this comes from a friend of mine. Uh, he speaks in uh, French and writes in uh, in French, and I use Google Translate to translate his ano itong postings to me. No? So the latest two weeks ago he wrote me. No? He said. 
the individual enterprise is a recluse. This was a businessman. No? Retired na siya, mga 86 years old na kasi. No? It is motivated by self-interest. Thus, it has difficulties in sharing. That is the first shell to be removed. So when you go from enterprise to supply chain, the first shell you have to remove is yung shell sa enterprise. Dapat ngayon, magkaroon siya ng compassion, dapat ngayon, meron siya mutualism, reciprocity, in order to share, to interact with the others. Ano? Next slide. Competition is the mode of engagement of enterprises acting individually on their own self-interest. So sa picture dyan, mga tao sa first slide, nakasilo sila, meron silang circle. Ano? Oh, are, nakulong sila sa kanilang self-interest. No? That the individual enterprise. Sa pangawa ng slide, sa new liberal market economy, everybody wants to be winner. No? May paligsahan. Sa third slide dyan, papakita, magaling sila, smart sila, maganda ang kanilang ano, itong dating. Ano? The fourth slide here, everybody runs a rat race. No? Next slide sa middle, they struggle against each other. Kuminsan nagpapatayan. No? Yan ang competition. That is the mode of the neoliberal market economy. That happens when our focus is on the enterprise. Kasi bawat enterprise, talagang magkakaroon self-interest. Uh, next slide. Now, in our development work, even among the poor, it is the norm to assess the performance of individual enterprises against certain standards such as good, best, socially responsible, organic, or fair trade. Our motivation as stewards of public goods is to allocate scarce resources to the most efficient. What a problem, Jan. Maganda yan, no? So as the most efficient can connect to a rich market. Ito yung ating ano ayon, itong ginagawa, no? So dito sa ating ginagawa, we always see the trees. And then sometimes we forget na may forest pala. Ano? Kasi nakatuon tayo sa ano, eh, individual enterprises. Ano? That's why we cannot see the economy. We only see the enterprise. Okay? We see the individual enterprise but not the economy they create. We fail to recognize the importance of synergy among individual enterprises as well as the synergy between them and local consumers. Especially in case study natin is snapshot picture. Yun natin nakikita yung synergy, you know. And I have difficulty in viewing this perspective sa mga researchers, ano. Bakit? Kasi mahal naman, very costly yung ano eh. Research na titingnan mo yung synergy. Mas madali yung ano, snapshot lang, ano. So, ganun nangyayari sa ating mga case study. That's why tayo rin, na nag tumatanggap ng information, di natin nakikita yung synergy. Yan. Okay, next slide. Now, a fundamental assumption in our development work is that the basic problem of the poor is lack of access to scarce resources. No? Yan ang major assumption natin. So, anong, anong, anong problema dyan? Walang problema, no? At first glance. Kasi totoo naman, ang mga poor lack of access to scarce resources. Pero, what happens if Sasabihin natin, hindi ang problema, hindi lack of access. Eh. Ang problema, wala silang alternative economy. Hindi doon natap ang alternative model development. Naiba ang perspective. Di ba? Kung minsan, uh, sabi ko nga dito, if you don't know what you are looking for, you cannot find it. There are moments like that with me. Ano? Naghahanap ako. In the middle of my ano, search, sabi ko, ano bang hinahanap ko? Eh, hindi ko makita because I don't know. It is the same thing. Because we define the problem, lack of access, hindi natin nakikita, ang problema pala ay walang economy. Alternative economy ang poor. Kahit na, kaya, kaya kahit na gaano ang ginagawa mo to solve the problem of lack of access, pupunta pa rin sila doon sa economy that created that problem in the first place. Did you get the point? Yun ang problema. no? So, i-transfer natin sarili natin doon sa new space, ano? And then, solve the same problem. Lack of access. May salil natin economy. Okay? May salil na economy and then we solve this problem in that context. Yung lack of access. 
But if we solve the problem of lack of access within the neoliberal market economy, eh, you're still feeding them into the machine of the market economy. Kakainin din sila. Next slide. So paradigm shift. We need a paradigm shift. Ano? Ang paradigm shift natin in the context of uh, economics is when our perspective shifts from individual enterprise to social solidarity economy. So, from individual enterprise to the perspective ng economy, but not only kind of economy, but the social solidarity economy. So, this paradigm shift involves the change of emphasis in three things. Number one, from competition to cooperation. When you go into supply chain approach, sigurado yan, ang framework mo is cooperation. Pero individual enterprise, sigurado yan, competition ang mode of engagement mo. No? Kaya, you have to uh, go from in enterprise level to supply chain and then ecosystem. Lalo sa ecosystem, ano? you need cooperation. You cannot operate at that level na walang cooperation. No? Second, performance of enterprises to performance of the economy. Now, that is one thing that we need to look into sa action program action plan natin. Pa paano natin may me measure economy ng cooperatives? Sa cooperatives, they focus on the cooperative organization. No? So when they compute, they estimate the GDP from the cooperatives, they only measure the income and all expenditures of the cooperative organizations. Kaya hindi nakikita ng cooperatives the economy that they are trying to create. Ano? So sabi ko nga sa mga talks ko sa cooperatives, when we talk about Philippine economy, do you measure only the Philippine economy in terms of the income and or expenditures of the Philippine government? Because GDP, you can measure it in terms of expenditures or income, di ba? Wala yan kasi yung dalawang environment, no? At saka yung social dimension. So, ano lang muna, income and expenditures. Now, you don't do that. You include in the Philippine economy the expenditures of income of households, the income of the private companies, the income of civil society organizations, hindi lang gobyerno. The same thing with cooperatives. But we do not measure the economy of the cooperatives. The backbone of SSE is the cooperative economy. Kailang ang ating malady is that the cooperatives do not see the cooperative at uh, the economy that they are creating. And then the third perspective is uh, from management of the enterprise to governance of the economy. Yeah. So, ibang perspective yun. Next slide. So, ano ba ang paradigm shift from competition to cooperation? This is a change of mindset from competi uh, competition enterprises to synergy working together among enterprises. Yan. So, malalaman natin, I'm, I'm uh, you know, uh, conditioning or framing our, ano natin, pag-iisip natin, so that when the case studies are presented sa inyo, you have a framework, you know, to look at these case studies. Yeah. The term synergy comes from Greek word, synergia, or synergos, meaning working together. It is the interaction of multiple elements in a system to produce an effect different from or greater than the sum of the individual effects. Synergy among enterprises is needed to produce social ties and solidarity between local producers and local consumers. Social ties also is equivalent to social capital. Another term for it, no? But it's more than social ties and social capital. Okay, next. Paradigm shift from enterprise to economy. What does it mean? A change of mindset from maximization on individual enterprise efficiency, uh, kasi yun ang mindset ng individual ano, eh, management, eh. you maximize enterprise efficiency. Magsiship tayo mula dyan to minimize minimization of the distance between the local producers and the local consumers. In other words, efficiency ng tinatawag na short supply chain. That is a form of local SSE. Yung solidarity between local producers and local consumers. That is also called in economics, short supply chain. When you export to your partner abroad, that is long supply chain. Okay. What we need 
is the short supply chain. A supply chain is based on a specific product produced in a territory. It is composed of several enterprises, including households, as both producers and consumers. The concept of one product, one village is premised on the development of a community-based supply chain. Kaya, meron tayong concept niyan. No? Kailang, hindi natin na ano na, kailang pa na mag-create ng bagong economy. Okay, next. Paradigm shift from management of enterprise to governance of economy. Ang focus natin dyan is building a short supply chain. No? The governance of the economy. A short supply chain can be built either through the initiative of organized group of consumers or through the initiative of organized groups of producers. Maraming sasabi sa akin, mga economists pa, Ben, yung supply chain, e product-oriented yan, producer-oriented, supply-oriented. Kako no, you can build it from the consumer side or from the producer side. No? Ano ang ating evidence dyan? For example, demand side, demand side construction. No? Itong social purchasing groups. Uh, si Katsyo Club ng Japan. Mga housewives ito. Bumibili sila ng mga, ano nila, mga uh, items, no? uh, grocery. Hanggang sa, they became big. No? They wanted to, ano, itong, uh, they wanted to, uh, avail of bigger ano, itong discounts. Ano. And this was, uh, was pointed out by Ted of uh, uh, yung sa alter trade. No? This was triggered by the milk crisis in Japan. So, yung mga housewives, they went directly to the producers. So, they created a sort of supply chain. Yung mga purchasing groups, they went directly to the producers and then they negotiated kaya na mag-supply ng aming ano. But they inspected yung mga ano nila, ang production sites nila. No? So, this is the demand side construction of supply chain. Now, una, yung initiative na mga uh, itong kawiminan. Ano? Uh, sa Pilipinas, marami tayong kawiminan groups, but they don't undertake this. So, this is challenge to mga women's groups natin. Ano? What are you doing to form yung mga social purchasing clubs natin? Supply side, this is the more popular one. No? Uh, cooperative producer groups, organic farmers association, this is one of the cases that will be uh, presented here. Okay. Bakit namimiss natin yung economy? No? I will just go through this very quickly. Kasi ang reasoning natin, we equate the organization with the economy. No? I'll just show you one ano, itong deductive reasoning. Uh, kasi sa, ano, sa deductive reasoning, sinasabi natin, if A equals to B and B equals to C, Therefore, A is equal to C. No. Diba? Very logical, diba? Equal sila eh. Ano nangyari? Ganito. A, ang cooperative organization ay enterprise owned by and managed by members. Yun ang B. A, cooperative organization. B, owned and managed by members. Ano? Yung B, ownership and managed by citizens is a feature of SSE. Therefore, cooperative is equivalent to SSE. Yan ang ating ginagawa. Na-equate natin ang co-op as an organization with an economy. But it is a wrong analogy. You know? The synergy of individuals within an enterprise is not the same as the synergy of enterprises working together in a supply chain. So I hope I have made my case here. Uh, let's go to embedding SSE in local communities. This is our uh, agenda. How do we embed? Ano ibig sabihin ng embed? Ano? Paano mo siya? Kumbaga sa pag ano ka ng bed, ano? nilalatag doon sa kultura ng tao ang SSE. Because it must be part of the culture of the Filipino people, of the people. No? Yung SSE does not happen. I think all of you know uh, this. Ano? Kasi you have been in uh, community development and you know it does not happen. Community development does not happen. It does not happen because the overarching environment of the neoliberal economy leans heavily against an alternative economy. Kasi in power siya, ayun yan ang ano, itong kompetensya. Okay? There has to be a change in the core values of people. Ordinary people who have shared core values and shared vision voluntarily organize themselves to create and develop an alternative economy. So, kailan makaroon ng shift sa values nila. That's why we first uh, start with the core values. Ano? People in the local communities learn SSE by doing it. 
then it becomes embedded in their culture. Naging part na sa kanilang kultura. Okay, next. So, ito yung organization development process that I like to propose, no? I-undertake natin. No? Uh, Unang-una ay, we have to define the core values. Ano, ano ba core values natin? No? Uh, and then, from that core values, we can define our vision, mission, and strategies. Ano? You know, we'll note sa diagram, the core values impacts the vision. And the vision is based on the core values. Dapat ka no? Both of these define or influence your mission. No? And the mission is where you develop your strategies or actions. Next slide. Now, ano ang concrete steps na kailang gawin natin after this conference? No? Uh, at this point in time, let me change the perspective. Ang perspective natin, kayo yung People's Congress. Okay, you are members now of the People's Congress. I am here to present to you a proposal. Yan. Uh, kasi sa ASEC, we are, ano itong... Uh, Consider, I mean, uh, thinking of your assembly as the People's Congress. Ano? Nasabi ko nga, ang People's Congress, iba ito sa kongreso na may pork barrel. Tayo, wala tayong pork barrel dito eh. Uh, meron lang tayong barrel of ideas pero walang pork. Yan. So you are now the People's Congress. I am suggesting something to you. It's up to you to decide uh, to consider this if you want to put this in your portfolio. These are the steps that I'd like to propose you know, to the People's Congress. Number one, define the core values of your SSE. So when you go back to your own groups, hanapin nyo yung mga core values gusto nyo itanim doon sa SSE. You know? And then from there, develop your vision, mission, strategies. Ano you know? core values? These are guiding principles of your organic product-based SSE. This has to be in place to enhance the capacity of stakeholders to achieve their vision and mission. Ito yung foundation ng iyong economy, not traffic. Yeah? Values ang foundation ng ating economy. And then you can formulate your vision by putting your core values together. You know? uh, what you would like, what would you like the local community to become when e existing economy is transformed into ECE? when, say, an organic product-based ECC becomes a dominant economic system. No? So, ano ang vision mo? Ano ang nakikita mong image, ano? mental image na community when these core values are embedded in that community? Yeah. Mission. What is or are the purposes of your organic product-based ECC? To what extent do they align with the triple bottom line goals of ECC? And then you have to define your short-term and long-term goals you have to identify quantitative and qualitative targets. So, assessing the processes, the second step is to assess the process, comp core competence and technology of your organizations. When you are dealing with supply chains, maraming organizations yan. Kaya napaka costly ang proseso. No? Hindi isang ano lang ito, uh, isang lakaran. No? It's a very costly process. That's why, uh, mahirap din gawin. No? Uh, but, uh, Kailangan gawin because we are organizing an economy. Next slide. And then you have to specify the governance structure and leadership brand. No? Uh, anong governance structure? Hindi na yan isang ano lang, network ng pag-uusapan nyo. Maraming enterprises eh. Kanya-kanya enterprise yan. No? Kanya-kanya mga managers, management team yan. How do you form them into a network? No? Uh, again, you go back to core values. No? Shared vision. Uh, shared uh, mission, no? shared strategies. Anong ibig sabihin ng leadership brand? No? Ano yung gusto yung ano, itong tawagin yung leadership ninyo? Uh, daang matuwid? Mga ganong brand eh. No? Mga brand na ganyan. Uh, righteous leadership, whatever. No? So, yan ang ano, itong number three step. And the fourth, next slide, yung performance management system na siya ang magmumonitor, no? Kailangan meron kayong targets, i-monitor yan for the whole economic system. I-monitor yan. So, malaking trabaho talaga. And this cost, uh, ano itong, uh, uh, need some resources to undertake it. I will go back to this. But let's go now to uh, the perspective of, uh, another perspective. You know? uh, how do we situate 
itong SSE really as the alternative model of development and to be included doon sa post-2015 development agenda. So, ito yung pangalawang ano, itong objective ng aking presentation. How do we situate itong SSE maging relevant siya sa post-2015 development agenda? Ano ang post-2015? It refers to the period 2016 to 2030. Ano ang MDG natin? Millennium Development Goals, ano? For 2016 and 2030. Now, there is already a UN high-level panel of eminent persons that prepared a document, no? To be submitted to the UN body. At meron silang proposal. And they call this proposal yung kanilang new global partnership which contains five aspects. They call it five transformative ships. Ano? Ngayon, uh, ang gagawin natin, titingnan natin yung suggestion nila. Sa first column, suggestion yan ng UN High Level Panel. Yung pangalawang column, yung perspective natin ng SSE. Paano niya ma-achieve yung, yung goal na yan? Yung first transformative, I mean, yung transformative ship. Ano? For example, number one, recommendation ng UN High Level Panel, leave no one behind. The first transformative ship. Move from reducing to ending extreme poverty. So, hindi na poverty reduction. You must end poverty. Yan ngayon yung transformative shift. No? Ensure that no person, regardless of ethnicity, gender, geography, disability, race, or other status, is denied universal human rights and basic economic opportunities. Design goals that focus on reaching excluded groups, for example, by making sure we track progress at all levels of income and providing social protection to help people build resilience to life's uncertainties. Ito yung recommendation ng UN High-Level Panel. Anong recommendation natin? Sabi natin, magagawa po yan ng SSE. Kayang gawin niya ng SSE. Yung first transformative shift. That's why we want SSE to be in the agenda ng 2016 at saka 2030. Now, before I proceed further, anong implication kapag ka yung ECC nasa agenda ng UN? Pagka nasa agenda ng UN, lahat ngayon ng aid, development aid, if you want to avail of development aid, you must prepare your SSC plan. You must submit a project, a program, proposal on SSC. Yan ang implication. Ano ang nangyayari ngayon? Ngayon, kapag ka gusto mong mag-avail ng loan sa World Bank, you must have a reproductive or human ano, population development plan. Reproductive bill. Eh. Eh, bakit ganun? Eh, side lang, ano? aside lang ito. Kasi ang World Bank failed in poverty reduction. That's why they have to have another vehicle. No? Kasi kapag ka poverty reduction, nag-fail na sila doon, eh, ano pang gagawin? Mapipiga mo pa ba yan? You cannot uh, squeeze blood from the turn it anymore. So, nag-shift ngayon ng emphasis ang World Bank. Ano? So, ngayon lahat ng countries who want to avail of loan from the World Bank, hindi na poverty reduction program ang requirement. Yung population ano na. No? Kaya, mayroong reproductive bill. Uh, this is just an aside. No? Ngayon, gusto natin, huwag reproductive bill. No? Gusto natin, is is e Yan. Para pagka may programa tayo ng SSE, Development aid can also be availed you know, by developing countries. Anong sagot natin sa number one? Ang SSE po ay ethical and values-based economic system. You know, based on solidarity ng producers and consumers in a territory, in a territory at it ensures everyone is included in development. E sinasabi natin, ito yun. Yung describe niyo dyan, ito yun. Yun ang SSE because it is an inclusive economy. You know? ACC emerges from three modes of synergies. Ano? The synergy na yan, may include mo bawat isa. The first synergy is among producers, enterprises, institutions, organizations, in the production of goods and services that meet people's needs. So, synergy mga producers. Ano? The second is synergy among consumers. O, bilhin na natin itong produkto natin locally. Ano? Para sa ganun, ano, itong... Uh, 
wala tayong ano itong problema dito now let me uh, okay I'll finish this and come back to uh, ano is uh, yung isang uh, example na na ano namin no, sa second uh, Asian Forum third synergy ng producers sa consumers so producer synergy consumer synergy and then the synergy of the consumers and producers so sa synergy na yan wala talagang may exclude ano now let me cite the example sa Japan yung kanika cited in my paper when we held our Asian Forum in Tokyo we brought two cases together no? isang case isang district na ang mga farmers united to campaign by local no? by local among the population of their district the next ano itong case ay isang district na wala silang ganong ano campaign ano so they imported GMO yung community district that campaigned by local 100% employment sa mga farmers yung walang campaign na wala ang trabaho ng mga farmers so yun ang impact doon no? inclusive I will go through this very quickly because may time limit no? put sustainable development at the core habihin natin sa ano UN ang SEC is triple bottom line economy it defines sustainability that includes people, planet, and profit. You know? The third, shift, transformative shift. Transform economies for jobs and inclusive growth. growth you know? Sa ating ano, itong uh, SSE, we make people become entrepreneurs. Producers sila, consumers. You know? The fourth, shift. You know? Build peace and open accountable and effective institutions for all. Bakit nangyayari ang conflict sa capitalist? Because it divides people. No? Hindi siya inclusive. Pagka mayroong excluded sa isang economy, manghihina na kit yun. Magkakaroon ng conflict. Magkakaroon ng conflict, may violence. No? When you have violence, you have fear among the people. So how can you solve that? Is is e, yan sabi natin, mag is is e tayo. Fifth and last, forge a new global partnership. So we tell the UN, is is it is a new global partnership, uh, so that we can bring this to the RIPES global meeting. RIPES global meeting will bring this to the uh, UN meeting. Okay, last. At uh, ito ang last na ako sa inyo, no? proposal. Ano kaya kung next year sabi ko nga ang it is is I ang mag organize ng Asian Forum. No? Sa Asian Forum na yan, yung ating mga uh, moderators ay at the enterprise level yung namaka sa kaiba ko. And then lahat ng mga gusto maging social enterprise, how to form social enterprise, pupunta sila dyan. No? Kasi napapansin ko, every forum, ibang case study, iba nang pinag-aaralan natin. Ano? Ay di, wala ang ating learning, eh, putol-putol. No? Hindi continuous. Eh, meron na tayong model, bakit sayangin natin yan? So this is my proposal. At the supply chain level, andyan na yung PCF, TSKI, yung Alter Trade. Sila na ang mag-conduct ng ano, workshop. And then we'll invite all. Gusto yung malaman supply chain, dito kayo mag-aral. No? And then at the ecosystem level, meron tayong Northern Samar, Cebu Watershed, at saka yung Alter Trade. Also ecosystem approach. Ano? Andyan sila. Kahapon na umaga, uh, gabi, nagkwentuhan kami ni Ted. Sabi niya, Ben, magtayo na tayo ng ating training institute. So, sabi ko, ito ng training institute natin, simula natin dyan. No? Dynamic ito. Sayang naman. No? So, yun po mga People's Congress, uh, pag-isipan ninyo, ano yung ating action dyan. And the third, second, ano, form a team. Kaya na may team tayo. No? My development planners is, is e development planners. And we have to go around helping people put up social enterprise, supply chains, integrated system, ano, and this is why kailangan natin i-involve yung ano itong mga congressmen natin because this will cost no this will cost we have to build an economy and the last no sa Asian Forum 2014 which i hope this congress will say if it is i will lead it no kailangan may feedback tayo sa ating pinag-usapan ngayon sa ating workshop so thank you very much for listening i hope i have given you something thank you very much